Hollywood, the REP Freedom Force take Ron Paul's message to the streets. On June 5th, there was an underpublicized bank run that Freedom Force decided to let people know about. On the corner of Sunset and Vine reside three branches of the largest banks in California, Washington Mutual, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. Here, the REP Freedom Force made their debut. promoting a bank holiday. Thank you. Okay. So encouraging people to withdraw their money for 10 days. For, for 10 days? To put pressure on the bank to, you know, uh, cut back on the inflation. Yeah, that's a smart idea. What's, what's the CD? That's a DVD. Go ahead and grab it. Yeah. Um, it's a documentary, America, Freedom to Fascism. It's going to be about Aaron Russo. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. It's uh, all about, like, the IRS and the banking system. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to check that out. Yeah. yeah. I'd have to say that the lemonade is brilliant. It's so disarming. How can you guys really be all radical if you're serving lemonade? That's right. Sadly, I only have like 50 bucks in the bank, so... Oh, perfect. Well, just take out. Yeah, they'll let me take that out, I'm sure. They'll be yeah. glad to get rid of me. So. Uh, we're hoping uh, we get back to the gold standard so that we don't have rampant inflation, because when they print... Yeah, because we're losing on our gold, right? Uh, all our money is not even backed up by gold. It's not backed by gold at all. In fact, all the gold is not even in Fort Knox. The gold is actually in the Federal Reserve. Yeah, so in other words, we're just spending no money. Not owned by the bank. Owned by the government. Really? It's actually a private bank. You can put as much money as it wants. No, I don't. <laughs> I got fed up like about a year ago, and I was like, sucks, and my grandpa always taught me how to use cash anyway. So always. This is a great video. On here is a list of a lot of videos, and there's a website that has a whole bunch more. But this one's amazing. It's gonna really open your eyes. It's pretty, it should change your life. That guy certainly did. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it was in your life. Thanks, thanks. It's 
10% real food juice. And like how the bank actually keeps 10% of your money and lends out the rest. <laughs> cool. The Federal Reserve is uh, owned by the government or is a private bank? I think it's a private yeah. bank. Yeah, that's right. Um, do you know what keeps them from printing as much money as they want to spend? Nothing. <laughs> that's absolutely right. It actually stayed the same. If you take a quarter back in 1964, right? When they were 90% silver. When they were 90% silver, you could buy a gallon of gasoline. If you still had that same amount of silver today, you could still buy a gallon of gasoline. So it's really the value of the dollar that's gone down, not, not the price of gas. You know, I mean, that's pretty much everything. Everything keeps going up in prices. It's not because uh, they're intrinsically more value, valuable or less, you know, available. It's just because the value of the dollar is plummeting because they keep spending as much money as they want. The thing you're trying to do is get everyone on board with this thing to pull out, like, at the same time. Well, hopefully at least it'll bring public awareness to the fact that we do not have uh, a sound monetary plan in this country. So, how's it going so far? Uh, pretty good. We're getting a good response. Uh, Tell a lot of people about the Federal Reserve and fractional banking. Yeah, people are really nice. There's no police. <laughs> That's kind of a plus, yeah. Yeah. Kind of sucked to go to jail. We're not scaring this. people. Get a lot of strange looks. People driving by going, what the hell are those guys doing? Yeah, it's Check out those videos on the other side. He calls it the red pill because it's like when you watch these videos, you can suddenly see the matrix. What's going on in our money? <laughs> not a holiday for the bank, but a holiday from the bank. Uh, yeah. Good evening, everyone. It reads like something from another time, an old-fashioned run on the bank. And that rush by depositors to rescue their cash from California's IndyMac Bank has resulted in what could turn out to be the most costly bank failure in U.S. history. Call your home, 